Hi, Leo. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing really well. And this is for any sun, moon, or rising Leo sign. We'll take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness uh, for the week or the big ideas, guidance, and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards to get a little more information. So let's just go ahead and get started. The River Queen, flow, letting go, natural movement. So I'm gonna just put that here. So the River Queen of letting go, which is harder than not sometimes to uh, allow ourselves to do, is that we wanna hold on to something we wanna resist. We wanna keep it close. And often the more powerful move is to let it go and to uh, not let it, not let events, people, or scenarios take command of your life. And going with the flow is such a great message because it's really a sense of uh, allowing nature and allowing life to move organically. And for you to just kind of um, not have to worry about the outcome this is a nice reminder to be present and to be uh, very clear in what you want to uh, what you want to be, which is hopefully happy and content on a daily basis. So to go with the flow, it is to allow yourself leeway, allow yourself a long leash, and again. Some may say going with the flow, well, that sounds great in theory, but you know, I've got demands, I've got jobs, I've got bills to pay, I've got travel, hard to go with the flow. And perhaps it's just um, the personal time that you have. And uh, whether that's going before you go to sleep or the hour before you go to sleep, it's just allowing yourself to be and to... Uh, not have expectations of having to accomplish, having to succeed, going with the flow, letting, letting the events and in theory or in symbolism, the water take you to the destination. It's really being uh, open and just allowing yourself to uh, maybe get out of your comfort zone as well. If you are a type A, someone who's very uh, list-oriented or goal-oriented, just to relax. And that's the thing when you think of letting go is to relax. Give yourself the gift of relaxation and not having to do. So now we have the body. And we'll get a sense of messages and... Uh, things to think about for the week. Okay. Consult a nutritionist. You know, throughout the uh, year that I've been doing these, that comes, comes in quite a bit. And consult a nutritionist doesn't mean that you have to go out and uh, find someone. It would be great if it's covered as part of health care. It would be great if you had access, access to someone who was affordable. And I'm sure that there are many affordable nutritionists out there, but there is information on the web. There's information from... Actually, I think, uh, I forgot exactly, but it's even the government puts out a book that you can request about eating healthy and what makes up a healthy diet. Now, not everyone may agree with what the government's saying in the pyramid. Um, they may have different ideas, but there is information out there. And the library is a wonderful source to read up on uh, good, good health, um, nutrition trip tips. <laughs> nutrition tips. And so it's hard to make big sweeping changes like I'm going to give up everything today. Pick something that is manageable within your life. And it may be, you know, I'm not going to eat out 
five days this week at work at lunch. I'm going to pack a lunch. I'm going to do something healthy and make sure I have a fruit in there and maybe a vegetable as well. So whether it's being mindful of what you cook, maybe it's taking the time to do meal prep on the weekend to take a couple hours just to have some food on hand so that it can limit your uh, impulsive choices when it comes to food. And sometimes, even though we're going with the flow this week, sometimes to write down what you uh, think you may want to have, just do a, a nice, light, general plan of what you plan to be eating for the day. And you can have a sense, well, on Thursday, I'm going to go out with friends, and so we'll have happy hour food. But on Friday, I've got this in the freezer that I can take out and cook up. But, you know, consult a nutritionist. Always talk to your doctor if you have questions. Talk to holistic people as well as part of your health maintenance and your health routine. Go to the library or go to the internet and go to places that um, speak to you in terms of what you want to accomplish, in terms of your of what you eat. And uh, some are more op- more involved in plant, you know, eating plants and vegetables and green smoothies and juicing. Uh, some are in the um, paleo diet, but you know you have to find what works best for you. And uh, again, nutritionists may follow a path that you don't agree with, but it's certainly additional information for you to make a choice about and to have uh, you know, to, to figure out what your path is going to be in taking care of the food. So spiritual self, emotional self, what is going on, tapping into spirit guides, tapping into the universe, Oop, energy, that one wanted to come right out. And that is love. Love is the foundation of your existence and you're just as worthy of receiving as you are of giving love and compassion. While love can be a beautiful emotion, it is equally a form of energy that propels you through life. And this is very true because when you are a loving being and when you give love to others and when you greet them with no walls up and uh, gentleness and empathy and compassion, then that comes back to you and it can come back to you tenfold. And it takes much less energy to be loving than to bring out the judgment or the anger, or the uh, nastiness. And, you know, we see, we see so much more nastiness now with people. Why? And I don't know why that's happening other than perhaps it's the frustration of having to keep it all together to make ends meet, to take care of families, and people don't have the time, and love gets pushed down to the bottom of the list. But showing love to friends, your partner, your pets, your neighbors, to everyone, of just dropping your guard and being open and uh, a good listener. It's just qualities of love. love. Love takes us through. And I think love is the greatest expression that we have of um, really allowing us to feel fulfilled and allowing us to feel content come through our interactions with others. And when you're loving and when you're good and kind, uh, then the, the universe will have your back and they will reward you. So be on the loving bus. <laughs> you know, give your love with, without condition, without expectation that things, uh, that you want things to come back to you. And Tell the people that are important to you that you love them because life is short and it's always nice to say it in addition to showing it. So for the week, I'd like to choose an oracle for you to practice, a practice area or something to think about, a meditation area.
So this says prosperity. And it say it's actually a dark oracle card. But this card of prosperity shows this abundant water flowing and greenery. There's so much prosperity out there and it's the prosperity of land, of um, flowers and of beautiful trees. The, abund the abundance and the prosperity of people, people who are willing to help, people who are willing to give, the caretakers that take care of our sick and elderly and the children and anyone else who is a light worker. You know, in our world today, there is prosperity and it just always isn't tied to money. And uh, certainly having enough to take care of yourself is important and to feel secure and to feel uh, stable. That's important. But in addition to the prosperity, the, the financial piece or the material piece, it's the prosperity of having wonderful friends, of having love within your life. It's the prosperity, honestly, of having good health because it's not a guarantee. So beautiful card to practice, to practice being grateful and to show in gratitude for the prosperity within your life. And many may feel, I don't feel that way right now, but if you could be thankful for one good thing, and maybe it's, maybe you start with your health, or maybe you start with your talents that you have, and to be grateful for that. And finally, I'd like to choose an oracle card for love, and we'll see how it ties into the love here for emotional and spiritual self. Just saying, pay attention to the love in your life. The union of hearts. There is a connection of love that defies explanation. And so this Whispers of Love Oracle deck is magnificent because really many of the, the majority of the messages are incredibly positive and are inspiring and are motivating. And so this union of hearts certainly recalls the Two of Cups. When people are meant to come in your life and it's just that bond and it's that connection and it's something that money can't buy, it's being in the right place in the right time and, and each of you finding the connection, it's such a beautiful thing and so whether this union of hearts relates to friends, business partners, a lover, a, a spouse, a lifelong committed uh, relationship, you know, celebrate that love. And again, something to add to the grateful list. And, um, you know, for those that are looking for love and looking for commitment or these dynamic emotional relationships, put yourself out there, open your heart, go with the flow, and uh, be thinking about how you can let people see what a loving being you are. But really keep your eyes open and be ready to have an experience. And you know, if you are oblivious, or if you've got your head down and you're working on that list without looking up, you might miss something. So don't miss the opportunities. And if you are in this type of relationship, uh, again, tell someone what they mean to you and do something, uh, whether it's through uh, a hug, a, a kiss, whatever it may be, is to communicate how grateful for you you are to have this type of blessed union. So I think that this is a lovely, lovely set of cards and messages and insights for the week. And I hope that um, you have a very peaceful and happy and loving and joyous week. I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe. That would be great. I have an amazing community, and I hope that you will consider becoming a part if you're not already. Thank you for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you again. Bye-bye.